My strength came from my mother and she was my inspiration until this day because she was a woman who looked from a positive point of view. My mother is a woman like no other. She gave me life, nurtured me, taught me, dressed me, fought for me, held me, and yelled at me. But most importantly, she loved me unconditionally. My mom gave me life and never once asked for anything in return. That is her secret, you know, always giving without ever expecting anything back. She is as constant as the sunrise, the moon, and the stars, and I can't tell you how much I count on her. She helped me find my way through the years and made me laugh through it. There are some things a mom can do that no other can. My mom has never failed me, and I absolutely love her no matter what happens, and she means the world to me. Dear Daddy, God once made a father, his best one of all. He was smart, loving, and determined to come when his kids called. This father could be serious. He would sometimes get mad, but he was forgiving when you did something bad. God gave him to someone, but who in the world could it be? This very lucky person turned out to be me. Dad, you never held my hand when I fell, but instead encouraged me to get up. You never wiped my tears away, but instead made me strong enough to face the world. You never showed me the direct path wherever I was going, but you gave me hints. You never stopped me from making mistakes, but let me find my own ways to rectify them when I didn't listen. You never preached me out or lectured me like I thought, but instead set a living example for me to follow. You never explicitly expressed your love for me, but then I can read it in your eyes anytime I want to. I am so glad I have a father who I can go to with anything, and I know you will always be there for me. I love you, Dad. Neo and Selena, grief isn't something you get over, it's something you go through. God saw that you guys were getting tired and a cure was not to be so. So he put his arms around both of you and whispered, come with me. With tearful eyes, we watched you in different seasons and we watched you both fade away. Although we loved each of you dearly, we could not make you stay. Two golden hearts stopped beating, sweet hands folded in rest. God broke our hearts to prove to us he only takes the best and only gives the best. Even though you can't be here with us now, I know I'll see you again when God calls the rest of us home. That beautiful sound when Gabriel's trumpet splits the air will be more than worth it. If you were here, you'd have your arms around me, and you know that if I had just one wish, it'd be that you didn't have to miss this. You should have been here, but somehow, God still knew better. Megan, Nicole, Lily, David, Jared, Matthew, and Alex, even though I didn't address you guys all separately, you all mean a lot to me in different ways. God has taught me a lot that I didn't really see until I looked back at you, the things you've been through, the different issues. Just so you know, my years spent with you were some of the happiest, rewarding, and most fulfilling. Yeah, I know, we didn't get along all the time, but our hearts are tight-knit. I wouldn't change any of you, even if I swore I would. You are all a big part of where I am now. You all are amazing. All the giggles, tears, and fights were 100% worth it, and it made me who I am. I love you, my precious chickadees, and the two oldest. Pop and Miko, um, you've given me a lot to work with, and I grew up knowing a lot about stuff that you've taught me. You, you know that things have been rough sometimes, and always coming to your house was a, big, a bigger blessing to me. From math to teeth, through all these things, and the different cultures. And if one thing I learned from you was easy and fun to remember, it's that God can always be first in your life. You've given me a desire to go to the world, and be a missionary to the other countries and a desire to travel and show the world what it's like to be a missionary and serve God. I love you tremendously and I'm glad I have the privilege of having you as my grandparents.